Jill, tell us about the new tricycle. Um, our daughter, Emily, is diagnosed with a disability. She has CTNA and one syndrome, which uh, comes with mobility issues where she has trouble walking, especially long distances. No. And, yeah, we're going to buckle. And when we are down here at the beach, we are close proximity to the beach, um, but she can't ride what? her own bike and keep up with the family. So we need an option to get her to and from the beach or to and from just out and about. Um, we used to use a bike trailer that's used for toddlers, um, but she is now 11 and 85 pounds and has definitely outgrown the bike trailer. So we were looking for another option to get her around um, and an electric bike and things like that. She just doesn't have the coordination and mobility to be able to do it herself. So what better way than to pitch her up on the back of this and take her wherever we need to go. Em, um, do you like the bike? Yeah, Em, do you love this bike? Do you love your new bike? Thumbs up? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Yeah, can you give a thumbs up? Nice. Nice, Em. Yeah. So yeah, so, so far so good. Pedal assist works great. Just using it without pedal assist, it's super fun. We can take the other two out in it. Emily can buckle herself on this as well. So she has her buckle, she has her helmet because we go pretty fast and she's ready to go. So handbrakes help keep it in place when she gets on and off too, which is good for safety. Um, Do you normally use the pedal assist or just go? I use the throttle to get it a start because she's heavy and the bike's heavy so the throttle helps you get going and then I can use the pedal assist and I just usually use that to then pedal a little bit as we go. All right, let's see it. All right, here we go, Em. You ready? Ready, Em, go. All right. Sweet. What do you guys think about the bike? Awesome. Awesome. You like it? Is it fun? Yeah, I love it. All right. 